Hello my dear students welcome to Byju's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys in this session i'll be telling you the syllabus of engineering services examinations plus i'll also be telling you the books which you have to refer if you are preparing for this examination okay so why do wait and i guess i already think you guys would have filled the form for engineering services 2024 okay so let's quickly start the session but first of all if you don't know about me you can go through my profile and now let's start it first of all when you talk about esc civil engineering syllabus you know on the preliminary stage you have what you have object paper and basically it's like a you can say it's like in any engineering or science graduate paper as you expect that paper for aptitude and all because the standard paper one will be the general studies and engineering aptitude and aptitude would not be like a cat level basically so that will be like your simple engineering or graduate level aptitude will be there okay so paper one stage one we have two papers first is your general studies paper which will be common to all branches so these are the 10 topics which will be there so current issues talking about national international importance then aptitude portion engineering aptitude in which lr that is logical reasoning and analytical ability will be there then engineering mathematics numerical analysis engineering drawing ethics project management material science ICT then you have standards quality practices in production so all these are included in it okay so it's not uh, generally actually there are two types of strategy some people do what some people are like ki pehle wo technical subjects complete karte hain aur ye wale subjects ko wo log baad mein deal karenge uh, paper se 2 mahine pehle let us suppose december mein deal karte hain some students are like ki wo simultaneously parallelly roz 1 hours 2 hours dete hain on uh, they start to prepare for these 10 uh, different topics as well so both is good agar aap uh, if you are thinking that first i should get rid of all the technical subjects and then i'll move to this that is also fine but if you are thinking that parallelly i can manage it and study for an hour or two these subjects that is also fine okay no issues both the approaches are pretty good now talking about general science uh, general studies and aptitude which i told you so here obviously the marks percentage if you talk out of this 10 topics so generally from each 5 to 15% uh, they ask you okay so 5 to 15% from each topic they ask you so i have told you the range because exactly i can't tell that from ethics 5% will be asked from uh, engineering drawing 10% will be asked but i told you the range that round about 5 to 10% will be asked Now talking about here, so we know that ESC 2024. If you talk about, we have it in two stages. Basically, stage one, along with your general studies and engineering aptitude, you will be having a technical paper also. Okay, and then on stage two, you will be having the mains paper. So let's talk about the preliminary exam paper, which includes objective, and the mains exam, which will include conventional. So let's talk about the syllabus of it. Okay. So first talking about the syllabus for paper 1 paper 1 number 1 is building materials actually when you guys prepare for gate you don't pay much attention to building materials because if it will come it will hardly come for one marks or it will not come at all but this is not the case for for your esc here stone slime glass plastic steel frp ceramics aluminum fly ash basic admixtures timbers bricks and aggregates everything will be coming okay and it's not like they have just told the topic just if they have told the topic everything inside this you have to talk about the brakes the types of brakes what is their compressive strength maximum compressive strength minimum compressive strength each and everything you need to know about it now if they are saying timber so you have to talk about the <coughs> seasoning of timber you have to talk about the defects of timber they have just told your topic so round about everything related to timber you have to study okay similarly you can read it out for other various topics of building materials talking about next in this list is solid mechanics here you have elastic constant stress strain obviously that is predominant then mohr circle elastic theory principal stress bending shear torsion when you count it you can count it in fingers but obviously when you study it uh, you have n number of various things the designing part the codal provisions everything you need to study okay talking about structural analysis this also plays an important role be it uh, uh, basically your stresses strains bending moments bending stresses is concepts everything determinate and determinate structures for calculating the determinancy unit load methods are the different methods which you have it everything which will be included here okay so this is your syllabus for structural analysis 
talking about next is your design of steel structures uh, generally you don't pay much attention when it comes to gate because you think that studying only plastic analysis will help you out but this is not the case uh, in the engineering services here you have to study the design of tension members compression members beam column connections uh, girders industrial roofs ultimate load designs everything you need to study and even see whenever you are preparing a subject like if you are thinking that you should prepare for engineering services examination don't study from the objective point of view so what do you think that when you will clear it then you will start again your preparation from scratch for starting for the mains so that thing should happen simultaneously okay so concept development rather than mugging it up should be your fire first basic prerequisite next is rcc that is design of concrete and masonry structures so here you talk about limit state design for bending shear axial compression combined forces a beam slabs every designing part of it various checks which you have to apply so here not only pre stress is there everything will be there here we talk about earthquake resistant design of structures as well along with design of masonry structures so what are the codal provisions which is being followed in the design of structures everything you need to start okay next in this list is construction practice planning and management so here basically when you go for equipment site investigation estimations rates everything this you don't study for your gate but you have to study it here okay so every estimation costing everything has to be taken care of okay uh, what is security deposit what is a uh, earnest money deposit how much it is everything related to it everything how do you do the scheduling part everything you need to study okay so whatever i told you that was for esc paper 1 talking about paper 2 paper 2 you have flow of fluids hydraulic machines and hydro powers so this is the topic of your fluid mechanics so here uh, you know that uh, open channel flow is also there pipe flow is there fluid properties dimension analysis everything will be included okay pumps air vessels hydraulic turbines this will also be included fine now talking next about it <laughs> now talking next about it this hydrology and water resource engineering so when you talk about water resource engineering here we include both hydrology as well as irrigation so here when you talk it about ground water hydrology that is well hydraulics is important recuperation test pumping test everything becomes important along with droughts when do you get which type of droughts so meteorological droughts agricultural drought hydrological droughts everything along with that uh, if you talk about irrigation there is a vast difference in the syllabus of gate and esc because here you have river training works here you have uh, along with river training works you have to study in depth about the spillways and all head works you have to study even you have to study the design of head works so all these are included in your irrigation for esc but it is not included for your gate okay now talking next here is environmental engineering yeah as you know that noise pollution is not included for your gate but it is included for your esc so here water supply engineering wastewater solid waste management air noise pollution everything is there and in depth basically here talking about the water demand quality parameters of water uh, treatment of raw water then distribution conveyance system characteristics of sewage uh, disposal design of sewer treatment of sewage everything is there okay talking next in this list is you have geotechnical engineering and foundation engineering so here also basically geotechnical engineering here you soil exploration parts permeability pressure theories consolidation compaction compressibility everything you talk it about and then in the foundation part pile foundation bearing capacity embankments dams retaining structures everything you'll be talking about there okay so this is your syllabus for there then coming to surveying uh, along with that you have geology as well so in surveying classifications of surveys methodologies instruments analysis everything will be there in geology knowledge of geology and basic applications so it's not in vast but basic applications about the type of rocks and all those will be there for sure okay next in this list is your transportation so it will include highway tunnel railway airport and harbors so all these will be included in the transportation engineering so basically generally if a gate we are more inclined towards starting the highway part and railway and airport we study like taxiway we will design or runway length we calculate all those things only and in railway we talk about can deficiency and all those things but here you have a much larger things to study so your planning construction method methodology 
the alignments then in railways what are the various terminologies which you use it's not only for calculating the number of sleepers and things you have to talk it about okay harbors also the terminology the various components the layout the planning part and in airports you talk about layout planning and design okay similarly if you talk this was the detailed syllabus which is given to you okay but now let us talk about the esc 2024 exams book okay so if you want uh, you can have various books uh, you can see everybody has a different liking for a particular book you are very much uh, you can say uh, you are very much okay with a the book their language you can connect with it okay but i'm generally telling you like for strength of materials you can go for uc's general book uh, apart from that there is a book by rajput sir apart from that there you have a book by ramamurtham sir so any of the book you can refer like personally if you ask me i like ramamurtham but apart from that you have various other books as well mechanics of materials you can get gear and timoshenko then uh, for uh, strength of materials for transportation uh, transformation of stresses properties of materials you can even refer to foreign authors books as well okay for solving problems elsinger book you can refer similarly bc punamia so i'm telling you the wider range of varieties these are the books which you can refer now your personal liking that uh, you are able to connect with the author or you are very very comfortable with a particular book that is your call okay similarly if you talk it about theory of structures personally if you talk to me i'll write theory of structures by s ramamurtham because this is this thick don't get uh, scared with the length of the book and uh, the amount of pages in it but trust me guys i literally loved the book i literally have it right now also and the way the concepts are explained each and every question is taught i love the way okay that's my personal interest now you can explore ellis negi and jangrid also this book also you can refer so various books i'm telling you hibler book ha hibler book is also good for practicing questions that is also pretty good uh, for understanding from the basic level i started from ramamurtham and then hibler book okay apart from that uh, you have books for structural dynamics mario pass this is a best book i literally love this book okay so you can refer to that rcc if you talk it about uh, you have bc punamia you have ak jain uh, you have uh, menan pille you have krishna raju uh, krishna raju is for pre stress concrete uh, if you talk about me i personally liked uh, menan and pille the questions the manner the question has been solved the conventional questions uh, using codal provisions and all i loved it okay then uh, for steel structures also i uh, basically there are various things but what i had is sk dubbel okay so you have ls negi also bhavi katti uh, you can use that also no issues okay we have subramaniam book also n subramaniam by oxford publication you guys can refer that so i'm telling you there are n books in the market but i'm telling you few out of them which you can opt for okay rest is your call which of the one you like it talking about environmental engineering if you are starting from basic level uh, sk garg and bc punamia both are fine i have a personal inclination for sk garg more uh, talking about foreign authors you can have metcalf and eddy for waste water for raw water you can have pv and ro i just love it pv and ro is also a good book if you want to have a detailed knowledge and if you are very very curious you can refer to that book okay so and for pollution control and all solid j akhwar this is also a very good book okay then talking about soil mechanics uh, the books which maximum students prefer uh, actually i like bc punamia and gopal ranjan and rao both are good for me and now it's your call and venkat ramaya that is also one of the books okay we have sk gurk sir book also but sk gurk sir book i like more for environment rather than for uh, geotech okay then you have kr arora muni buddu but uh, I, i'll advise you that go for gopal ranjan or bc punamia just check it out that Um, i think that will uh, that you love it more okay uh, similarly for fluid mechanics you have uh, modi and set which is the permanent then you have bansal also flow open uh, flow channel open channel flow you talk it about in modi and set there is a chapter of open channel flow but if you want to study open channel flow in very detail there is a separate book by k subramaniam sir which you can refer okay similarly if you talk about hydraulic machines you have a book by subramaniam jagdish lal you can refer to it highway engineering if i talk about i like justo and khanna very much i love this book this book is 
I don't know. I'm just I'm in love with this book. The way they express the things, the way the things becomes very easy with the way they are writing it. That's very very awesome. Okay, uh, so you can guys can refer to any of the books. Surveying B C Purnamya S K Dugal both are fine. Means I can't give an upper edge to anybody. These I'm telling which I have liked the most. Engineering hydrology, no doubt. Um, you can refer to other books also but engineering hydrology k subramaniam without even a second thought go for uh, k subramaniam irrigation uh, both are good sk garg is also good pn modi is also good but guys check out the uh, the year of publications because some uh, quotal provisions regarding the things have been changed so kindly look at the uh, year of printing before you purchase it similarly for <coughs> construction engineering and management you have dr s sitaraman and k n jha I prefer Dr. S. Sitaraman because construction planning and management, engineering and management we had in our college also. So that's a pretty nice book. Uh, apart from that, engineering materials, Rangwala, S. K. Dugal, both are good. I have actually I purchased all the books of uh, means uh, all the subjects one one books which I wanted it, I liked it, so I wanted that it should be with me. So Rangwala is the book. very easily means when you will be starting engineering materials and all so in a very easy breezy manner things are being written okay for concrete uh, construction technology that is concrete technology you can go for sushil kumar ms sethi and ml gambhir ml gambhir is the one which i liked it okay uh, railway engineering sc saxena and sp arora both are there i haven't purchased any book for railway engineering but if you guys want you can have the book or uh, you can check it out in the library airport planning and designing sk khanna mg arora book is there harbor dock and tunnel engineering you can go for the book by r freedomas okay i have told you the books the basic books if i talk about for strength of materials for structure analysis ramamurtham sir i book i like it for hydrology open channel flow subramaniam sir's book is good for geotechnical engineering bc punamia and gopal ranjan is good fluid mechanics modi and seth is a good book apart from that uh, transportation engineer highway engineering justo and khanna is a good book and what else i have left steel structures sk duggal so actually the name uh, rcc menon and pille so these are the standard good books which will definitely help you a lot uh, it's not generally actually what happens we are all, always on study materials that you are very much full focused on study materials and you have a 100% trust but guys don't be away from the books okay because it's not only an objective paper which you have to tick mark it no you have to do the conventional paper also and for your conventionals along with your concepts the theory should be very very clear because in your convention not only you have to solve questions but you have to write the answers also got it and for that reason it is very important that you should have a proper book and a proper first you should know which book to buy so in right now i don't think that is the time that you should explore the books rather stick to a book understand it have a doubt talk to the faculty and that's it that should be your whole uh, you can say this should be a whole routine which you have to follow it. okay this is the whole chronology fine and if you have any doubt guys you can uh, say on the comment section as well or you can message me in my telegram group on be with us and if you haven't subscribed our channel kindly do so thank you everybody